Hey bestie, I'm Kenya and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining in for a planner sesh. So bestie, as you can see, I'm in my May setup in my daily grind goals planner and I'm going to be sharing with you some pages from this new updated layout. So if you want to see how they turn out, stay tuned. <music> Okay, Bessie, so let's jump right in. So like I mentioned, this is my May setup, and it is the new setup from the Moods collection. I um, actually landed on Big Dreamer once I did the quiz, and so I set it up for this month, and last week was my first full week in this whole new updated layout. And so there are two pages that I really want to share with you guys in this video because they are definitely new, or I should say an updated version. Uh, in the previous, like, I guess you could say four-month plan, layout they had these two pages combined but now that they're separate I thought it would be fun to show you how I fill them out so we're gonna start out with this this week's this week in review excuse me and I'm gonna pull out my color story florals sticker book from happy planner as well as some tumbo markers um I do use my daily grind highlighters too but I just thought these would match kind of what I already had going on I created this little page on the side y'all sometimes I like to use those dot grid pages as a like sometimes I use them as a brain dump sometimes it's a weekly reflection page sometimes it's a quote and I just felt like that quote I had it printed from Pinterest and it just kind of speaks to the week that I'm heading into and so I wanted something inspirational to look at once I flip back through my planner and stuff like that so that's what we got going on so that's why I chose these markers but here's what I typically do for the this week in review and as you can see I'm flipping back to the previous days just kind of assessing myself because can we talk about this first little section now this is probably my favorite update to this page one because it allows you to rate yourself now the previous layout did have a rating scale but it did not have it broken down into all of these individual categories and so I really love this I love being able to assess myself and y'all I'm planning to be very brutally honest with myself and just really where I feel that I am but also fair because some weeks are just different from others and sometimes the day that you might have like game planned out or mapped out may completely get thrown off by and it can just take one thing one like little hiccup in your plans that can throw things off so and I feel like in a way, y'all, I've experienced some of that last week. So I wanted to just kind of be honest with myself and just say, OK, this is where I really feel like I am with my goals. And this is what's happening. OK. And then I also love that, though, it breaks it down into more personalized categories, too. So you can rate yourself as far as like where your routine is, your daily routine, but also your overall mood and happiness. You can rate that. You can rate your nutrition and your health and also your workout. I really really loved it I love that addition okay so now that I've rated myself and y'all did rate myself kind of low because last week I just when I was going back and reviewing some of the days I just did not get a lot of things done the fact I got things some things done but I didn't get a lot of things completed and you will see well I don't know no I won't share it in this video but once I do like another plan with me how I've been doing it lately I've been giving myself um like for my faith I have like two little subcategories to complete my faith goal for the day and that is definitely my prayer life because I'm working on my act like increasing my prayer life and then also my reading and studying time, study time. So there have been days though, y'all, I can go in and I can pray for, you know, a good little bit and then I don't finish my reading. Okay. And so I don't really give myself credit for the full thing. I always check the almost category um, on the actual daily layout so when I went back and assessed some of the goals I was like almost in everything <laughs> this week for the most part there were some things I did get done but there were more things than not <laughs> that I almost got done so you know it is what it is now I can tell you though y'all I did get my creator goals I worked on them a lot last week one because I was trying to catch up I've 
felt a little bit behind on my schedule and with it being a new month i wanted to really like amp up some of the things that i was trying to do um, and get back on task with my ig schedule and now i'm focused on getting back on task with my youtube schedule because i've been promising y'all some videos and girl it's time to get them out the queue okay i have like three or four vlogs i really have already filmed y'all they're done i just gotta finish editing them so i can share with y'all some uh, new vlogs and then i got a very important trip coming up that i want to share with y'all so i gotta catch up the vlog schedule so be on the lookout for that because y'all might see like three or four vlogs in a row okay because i'm trying to clear my youtube schedule cute and get back on track with it also i really worked on my relationships last week that's a big goal of mine is to be more intentional in my relationships that may be a funny goal for most people not a goal you really think about but i try to be intentional about my like how i'm catering to my friends my family my husband okay <laughs> number one as a wife you know sometimes we can get so busy and i don't want to ever just be like on the go all the time that i forget to be present with the people that i love so that's a big goal for me and then where i slacked working out okay i slept and my reading y'all i know y'all gotta keep me accountable i told y'all i was gonna be reading these books and i was gonna get on it okay and i've been slacking i've been slacking on that self-care because and that just downtime and the unplug time because i have been trying to catch up so i said we're gonna get better okay now for the weekly quote like what i am telling myself this week it is time to let my light shine as a child y'all that was one of my favorite scriptures in the bible let your light so shine before men that men, that they may see your good works and glorify your father who, which is in heaven and i have sometimes i feel like especially like growing up in an, as an adult i've gotten away from i don't want to say gotten away but in a way i feel like i have and i forget like you know because you get to focusing on you know one it's not all about you i really believe that like nobody has to do anything for you or anything like that but i think that in order for us to that scripture is in there. It's so important to give God the glory in what we do. And we must do it. Um, and let our light shine. You know, be excellent in areas that God has called you to do things in. So, I don't know. That's, that's just been really speaking to me lately. And that is so just great for this week y'all i cannot wait to share with y'all more and more but i'm just like let your light shine girl okay and then y'all i'm reading a novel it was a book that i started but then i didn't finish okay one of my besties sent this to me a while ago and i've been meaning to share the book with y'all but i never finished it so she actually sent it to me electronically as well as she sent me a hard copy so i'm going to actually try to take the hard copy with me around um because i just feel like reading on my phone sometimes it's, it's it's a distraction it's the same reason why i don't digitally plan okay it's a distraction <laughs> so i'm going to take the hard copy and i'm going to get in some romance it's a christian romance novel book and so i'm excited to read the love story y'all just to be honest romance stories and love stories movies all of that it's like my favorite thing i love to i love a good love story okay so now my three focuses for the week i just wrote those down in that category and now right now y'all y'all just see me kind of coloring in the page that's another layer to this planner that i love um because sometimes when you're thinking about your goals i don't know about for you but for me i can kind of be hard on myself because i am very much a <laughs> I don't want to say overachiever, but it's just really how I was raised. My parents, they raised me to always put my best foot forward in all that I do. Um, and I just feel like that's what God has called me to be. He's called me to be to have a spirit of excellence. And so I try. I may not be perfect at it. I may not know all the ins and outs on how to do things. But whatever it is that I do know how to do. I know how to um, try to do my best at it and then just continue to try to improve myself, which is why I have a goal planner. OK, it's all about just continuously improving myself. And this is another reason why Big Dreamer just fit me so perfectly, because, yes, yes, girl, we always trying to go to the next level. Let's go. OK. And so with that being said, I love the fact that 
I can color on this page and it can kind of de-stress me for some, for some reason because I can literally overthink in my goals sometimes and I just love this coloring aspect because it's an activity that's included in this process that just kind of takes it as the calming layer and life really is about balance I believe I believe you need a little bit of go-getter in you but you also need a little bit of like calm and retreat about you so you don't experience burnout but you also don't experience laziness and being unproductive so there's my little TED talk y'all for the day okay so I wrote out my three focuses and everything and so I'm gonna be doing some celebrations this week with family well no I said I wrote out my three things my three focuses that's not three focuses y'all these are three things that actually happened that were great this week okay which was celebrating with family and actually get to see my family my actual family and um also being able to um see my church family because with me traveling so much i hadn't been in church in person so in church in person is just a little bit different from church online and also like we normally have our house church meetings well i was missing some of them and we always skip the first month because my church really believes in resting too like i said y'all balance okay so we just haven't seen them in a minute and then y'all i just kind of wrote out some things that i can do better with and just kind of like ways that i can do I can get better and that is definitely starting early that's something that I wrote down um, taking breaks when I need it you know that's another thing because sometimes I can burn myself out a little bit and then I'm like I crash okay versus I, I really want to pace myself this for this upcoming week ahead okay so speaking to the this week ahead page y'all this page is I feel like it's new Okay, even though we've had a this week ahead section in the previous layout, this whole layout here to me is new. And I was getting ahead of myself with the focus because that's on this page, y'all. Okay, so I did pull out my color story sticker book to decorate this because here lately I've been finding it very um beneficial to me in the timing for me especially in the mornings um because you know in the mornings when you get up you ready to go it's like go 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 and this is like a step for me to kind of get my day going i always have like a little mini planner sesh and i write out in my daily grind check my my main planner and everything so having these pages pre-decorated and i'm not decorating them during the morning but i'm just filling them out and game planning out my day that's been helpful and so something that's been helping me kind of i guess you could say get the decorative element out because it is daily y'all i started out doing them like differently every day or like there's two pages that were like completing a full spread once you had it like the planner open i would decorate them the same and then the next two pages or the next two days i would decorate them differently well i've recently decided to start doing like a thing and using one sticker book or two sticker books for the entire week and going ahead and decorating all of the pages and so what I'm finding is that these color story sticker books are really, really great for this because if you do get bored, you don't want to use the same exact theme. Some of the color story sticker books have, they definitely have different themes in them. This one in particular, they all kind of match, but they're just different colors. So that's why I chose this one because I wanted something very beautiful, very calming for this week. Um, but also you know fun <laughs> i feel like and bright and so here i'm just taking some florals and i'm just spreading them out throughout the page there's no rhyme or reason this is my first time decorating a page like this y'all so i was just trying to play around with some ideas of how i thought this page could look you know i wasn't trying to stress about it it was just like you know if i want to change how i use this page later on i can so here's my thought process on how i think this page will be will be it will work well for me and maybe for you too okay so i always every week i brain dump and pre-plan for the previous for not the previous week i do it in the previous week but for the next week basically okay so pre-planning out my week like my plans what i got going on what's coming up stuff i gotta pay for gifts i gotta get um 
meetings I got coming up, things I need to prepare for. Um, if we are going somewhere throughout the week, how do I prepare for that and all of that? That's how I pre-plan out my week and then that's how I I utilize that to help me plan the week once the week actually approaches because I don't like to use that to actually as a plan because sometimes y'all that has changed but it helps me map out the week so I know what I got coming and some things are concrete but some things aren't some things get pushed back some things move around and so and being that I'm a business owner y'all that happens a lot okay and so this is kind of like my little paper hack to what i feel like a lot of digital planners they can just change the dates and move it around that's pre-planning helps helps me you know accomplish basically the same thing so instead of having to cancel a whole bunch of stuff with my planner i pre-plan for it and then i plan out the week as the week approaches and i kind of plan a little bit ahead and then in the middle and then as the week goes on so i thought in my head that this page would be great to do the same thing but more so with my goals okay and my goal focus because here's the thing just last week in this first layout I feel I felt like it was helping me get back in the rhythm okay because I had developed a routine and my routines really helped me if I stick to my routines y'all I'm gonna knock out my goals okay However, I was trying to figure out why did my routine not get back in sync the way that it should have been. And so I'm thinking that if I use this page as a pre-planning page, it will help me assess the week. So when the days do pop up and come up, I can now decide, okay, this day I might have the goal to go work out and do all these things. But girl, if you're not at home, you can't go to the gym. And if you are, you can plan to do something differently. You can change your workout goal based off of, I have to do it off my location, y'all. Because your girl be traveling, okay? I just, I just do. I have to travel for work. I have to travel for a lot of different things, okay? So, in life right now. So, it is what it is, okay? So, but I'm trying to figure out a bit the best way to stick to my routine. So, I'm going to use this page as like a pre-planner, okay? So, First up, we have the little calendar. Y'all saw me fill that out. And um, I'm going to, like I was showing y'all, I'm going to use this page to help me plan out the, the next days, right? I also put in my top focuses for the week. I typically have 10 goals, y'all. 10 goal categories, which are like my faith goals, my nourishment goals, which is like, you know, my food and wellness I also have a movement goal, which is like my exercise, my workout routine, you know, fitness. I also have a relationship goal. And then I give myself a business goal slot, um, which is my business goal is really comprised of a lot of other goals that I have with me and my husband together. Um, however, we try to focus on you know, select goals each month, okay, month over month from the previous year numbers, that type of thing. So I do track that in my business planner. However, there are daily tasks that I like to apply to that. So I put that in my daily grind planner. Okay, so then I have two slots for my creative goals because this month I'm celebrating my anniversary, And so I wanted to give myself a slot for how I want to increase and grow with the platforms that God has blessed me with. Okay, so I have a goal for that. And then I also have some milestone goals that I really want to hit y'all. I want to hit the milestone goals. So I am I gave myself two categories for that. And then I have a self-care goal. No, not self-care. Well, it's kind of self-care. I labeled it reading, okay, <laughs> this month because... The focus is reading, okay? Just, we need to start back reading books, period, <laughs> okay? And then I have an adulting goal because I'm trying to get some more things going in life. You know, adulting, okay? Increasing that credit score and paying off these loans. <laughs> Ciao, <laughs> okay? Stuff like that. Um, And then I have a self-development goal, which, you know, I just share with you guys. I'm always trying to improve myself um, and just get better. Um, at the things that you know God has given me to do so like I said I'm not perfect but I can be always moving forward I've just tried to learn to be better at that be my best self you know that's really one of my focuses which also relates back to big dreaming y'all that's literally one of the um dividers like 
focus basically focusing on being your best self that's some one of the one of the messaging of this mood planner okay or this planner collection okay so those are some of my top 10 goals how those are my top 10 goals i don't think i skipped one i think i got all of them in there and then but i did want to choose five of them that i really can see myself accomplishing this week um and the reason why i like that the planner does this is because yes i want to be that girl that knocks out all her goals throughout the week just boom 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 okay but y'all i'm telling y'all sometimes you get a little monkey wrench thrown in there and you don't you don't get it it's not an excuse it's more so a preparation for the unexpected okay so i do give myself i like this top five category and i like kind of rank my goals in a way, even though to me they are all very much important, but I try to rank them based off of where I feel like I am slacking and I need to do some catch up, what I'm not doing the best at as far as routine. So it can be my focus this week so I can get more of a balanced way of getting all them done. Okay, so then all of the day slots, y'all, I just basically said, okay, Monday, I know I can get some filming and stuff done. Okay, and I can really focus on reading. Monday seems like a good day that I can say, you know what, girl, you can sit down you can get your faith done and you can read okay um tuesday based off of my schedule it looks like i can knock out some stuff on the adulting list okay my adulting task and i can also get some content done because that's one of my content days and do some house prep so that's just an example of how i went about doing it y'all and so like the weekends are sometimes a little tricky because like i said i've been traveling some so but however i really want to develop a routine on how i can you know utilize my planner um, and stick to my routine on the weekend. So that's what I'm going to be working on next. So taking all of what I got, this is how I'm going to map out the daily schedule. Okay, Bessie. So we have come to the end of this plan with me, y'all. Okay, so that's how I filled out these two pages so far. So if you have this daily grind planner, hopefully this helped you, you know, kind of get some, an idea of how to use these pages for yourself. And if you are using it in another way, I would love for you to comment below so I can, you know, learn from you guys as well. So first off, I want to say thank you so much for watching, Bestie. I do ask that you please like this video and definitely subscribe to my channel and share it with someone that you think may find it, you know, helpful. So Bestie, see my description box below to see how you can get your hands on this goal planner if you want to start goal planning in a daily grind planner. I also fill in that yellow part where the week ahead, I left it off y'all. So yeah, until next time, I love you, Bestie. Bye!